The magic. Okay. Right. There, because there are there are gnomes inside, and they take each electron. That's individually. what they do. How did you know? <laughs> you are wise. I've been around, man. I've been around. Mike, take it away. Hi, I'm Mike Marco with Nordost, and we're here at the 2023 Axpona Show, and we're introducing a new Cubase Mark III. This is a uh, Mark III version of the Cubase we've been working with for years, and this is the latest evolution of it. One thing about it is we have a focused ground system here. You'll notice there's one outlet that's labeled Primary Earth. And that's very low impedance grounded to the incoming IEC and this. That's very low impedance. The other outlets are raised a bit. Uh, they're ground turbos, about a half an ohm. And that calls, causes um, the grounds to actually focus in a certain way. And we've always worked, it always has worked this way with the, with the primary earth, but now we have separated the circuit boards in here with, from a ground trace, to a, uh, the hot and neutral trace are on the other side. And this is separated all in them. the service of lower noise? Yes. Okay. Absolutely. And, and proper grounding, which is a big key. Let's back up a second. What do you call this? Is it a power strip? You could call it a multiple outlet strip. That's okay. a generic term, but with a focused ground uh, bent. And is the idea that I plug everything into this? Yes. Okay. So I have one of these. Yes. And I plug all power from my system here and I end up with a common ground? Well, that would, yes, that's the idea. Uh, that the preamp or the integrated would go in the primary earth. Okay. That is grounded hard. And all the ground currents will go to it and, and be eliminated. But the other, the problem is the other components all sharing the same ground and then you're connecting cables to every component. It builds a ground loop in. We break that ground loop with the uh, with the resistors we use to float these grounds just a little higher in impedance. It's only a half an ohm, but uh, that focuses it and the noise is significantly dropped. Okay. And now that we've separated a ground circuit board trace from hot and neutral, uh, it's even gone farther. But I can plug everything in here, yeah. photo level and power amps yes. and DAC, the whole nine yards. Yes, sir. Okay. And we're using multiple ones in this system because it's so spread out and so complicated. We have four Cubases we're working with in there. So how do you keep the ground common with four Cubases, or two for that matter? Well, that's the trick. Uh, the preamplifier goes here, and that is going to the wall, your root cable. And then we can feed the l ground lifted output or, or ground raised impedance output and to, to feed another. Okay, uh, and is there a special cable you need for that or is it just Just a, a standard power cord. Okay. That's what we do. And okay. there's, a, there's a 20 amp version of this and a 15 amp version. Uh, and this is the 15, 15 obviously. 15 obviously, yep. And the uh, identifying difference if you just see it sitting around is these black panels are a visual indicator that, oh, this is not what we had. That's the only reason they're that way. Just a brief interruption, esteemed viewers. As you may know, I'm Tom Martin, Chief Content Officer of The Absolute Sound. We have a new product. It's on the Substack platform, and we're going to do some interesting things with Substack, first of which is reader questions and answers. Each Monday, readers will submit questions. We'll pick the most interesting ones, and we'll answer the questions on Friday. We'll also have early access to articles and special blogs that don't appear anywhere else. We hope you'll join us. It's only a cost of a cup of coffee per month. Just check on the screen or in the show notes below. Thanks, and now back to the show. Sorry, I might have missed it, but what is this? That's a ground terminal. That's connected with a very short piece of low impedance cable right to that connector. So it is, it is AC ground. And this works with our grounding system which we have, okay. we ground the AC signal, and then we ground the DC signal by, on, on the components, unused audio connectors, because a shield of an RCA on a, on a component and, is and not- And this goes, all goes into a box that's a grounding yes, thing? Yes, yes. Sorry for the word thing. No, that's artificial ground, we call it. Okay. And we're using that system in here. So 
the main QB8 goes to the grounding box, AC grounding box, and none of the others get it. This is the only one main one that gets the ground that's very low impedance. It, breaking up the ground loops is incredible when you do, the, do it that way. Okay, cool. Uh, price point? $2,400 for the 15 inch and about... 15 amp? Thank you, 23 and $2,600 for the 20 amp. Got it, okay. And is it available now or is Yes, it, we're okay. shipping now. Shipping now. Cool. Thank you very much. Thanks, that was Tom. great. Thank you, Thomas.